Hello everyone and welcome to a draw along exercise. Today I'm going to I'm going to show you how you can use uh, color theory and understanding of the color wheel to basically create the same composition but just change the mood or you use color theory to understand how the combination of colors can work on the same sort of drawing. So uh, it'll make sense, sorry about the explanation, it'll make sense one, once we all throw it together. So we're going to draw the same basic outline of something three times, and then I'm going to show you the three different color combinations and how each one affects each other or how little it actually matters what color choices you make. It's more about the relationship between them. So let's start with, I wanted to draw just basically like, the trunk of a tree, some grass, and some flowers. So here we go. We're going to draw just straight line. This can be the trunk of a tree. Now, if you're really good, you can like curve it a little bit, add some like complexity to the shape somehow. Wh whatever you want to do. Just draw the trunk of a tree, like the base of a tree, and then maybe add some, some roots or maybe not maybe we'll just add some grass so, so we just draw like a basic grass sort of thing just scribble it out okay because we're gonna we're not going to be precious about it and maybe we'll draw one flower so from here just draw a flower draw a flower you know, just a stem, and then a circle, and then some petals. Very simple, very basic. Stuff like this. Okay. All right. And we're going to be repeating the drawing of that. But just to begin with, um, we're going to start with one color. And we're going to make that our base color. And let's make it as simple as possible. We're going to use green, and we're going to use uh, red, if I can find it. Yeah, we're going to use green and red, because those are a more natural pairing. Um, we're not going to, re uh, we're going to use it as be as close as possible. So, I'm using color pencils. You can use whatever medium you want. This is more an understanding of how color works than the medium itself. But each medium has its own way of blending, uh, its own way of conveying uh, texture yeah um, but play around with them so like Copics are good for flat color uh, color pencils are actually great for like textures if you know what you're doing and uh, paints are good for doing both but uh, yeah but you need to learn a lot about brush control and all that so but w anyway so what we're gonna do is we're gonna color the grass first so we're just going to add green here, just where that is, just a flat color, just to give it some understanding of, just give it some understanding. We're going to do that to the stem. All right, and then we're going to use red, and we're going to do, we're going to color some of it. Maybe we imagine the light coming from this direction just to help us out a little bit. So we'll only color the darker side. All right, and just give it a rough color like that. So already we have a scene coming along. Now, there are ways to use the color to make it interesting. So for example, let's make the middle of the flower unrealistically green. And let's make the petals red. And don't be afraid to experiment. If you find that uh, certain colors you find better, or if you find that three colors works for you, or one color works for you, or five colors works for you, that's all right. Um, it's always important though to understand the balance of everything. So more colors, you have to be, you have to balance them out or you have to make one more prominent than the rest and the others can adorn it. So that's why I stay with two colors to start with so it's a lot easier on our brains. So 
Here we have the basic scene. We have green and red. The contrast makes the flower stick out and it makes the tree trunk step out and, the, and it makes the grass part of the background. Now, if we wanted to, if we wanted to highlight this red even more, what we would do is we would take our green and we would just put it on the outside, the darkest part of the tree. And with it, we can create texture if we wanted to. And we can do the same for the flower. And then it, it can kind of highlight it. Now, I, I said before, this one would only take two colors, but if you wanted to, and I do recommend this, if you wanted to make both of these colors pop, you would pick a color that's completely unrelated to these two colors. And I always like to look to nature for uh, that kind of inspiration. So in nature, if we see red, if we see, uh, this would typically be brown, but we would see green and then another color, which is like red or reddish brown. And then of course the sky is blue. So we're gonna just add some blue to it. And since these are kind of darker reds and darker greens, I wanna add a quite lighter blue, all right? Um, if you've got like a dark blue, if, if the only thing you've got is like a dark blue, you can still make you can still make that work. You just shade quite lightly, and what that does is it creates context, like this. And that's a great way to create more context for your drawing. If the col if your two colors aren't enough, you can always add a third one just to give more context, but make it very light. We don't want it to be the main focus of the piece. Now, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. So these are more realistic colors. What if we wanted to do the same thing? I'm gonna just speed up a little bit. So we're gonna draw our trunk, some grass, and then a flower again. What if we wanted to be more interesting? I would take purple and yellow. I would color the grass yellow. And the middle of the flower yellow and the stem yellow. And then I would take purple and I would do that to the trunk. Like this, and then to the flowers. All right, and then we have here the same sort of effect that we had down here. And what we can do is, but it changes the composition a little bit. So what we can do is, since yellow is a lighter color, we wanna put that in front of the purple where the light is to give it a highlight. Same here, you can put yellow right in the front and it gives things a highlight instead. And if we wanted to add context to this, we would pick a closely but unrelated color so Purple and yellow, maybe I would take, let's say, orange. And I would just do that real light, real light. It's close to yellow, but you can then add some context to the scene just by making it very light. And if you wanted to, I would probably darken the purple a little bit more. All right, and then you've got a different sort of scene, same composition of lines, but different colors adds a different mood to it. If we want to do one more, we'll do orange and blue. These two colors are super duper strong, like mega ultra strong. So I would use this one sparingly. So we would maybe make the trunk orange as a lighter color, make the petals orange, and then take our blue and make that the grass. Like this, and then we would highlight, we could highlight that, and then we've got blue and orange, and it creates a different scene altogether. And if we wanted to, we could just add green, quite dark. So then it makes the orange and the blue a lot brighter. 
So do you see, you can change the color completely from what's natural and you can still get a very interesting and well composed scene. It's just about understanding the relationship between colors. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.